or impact on the whalers. There is no fleet within 800 miles of the coast. So for the first time since the Second World War, whales can migrate along the North American coast without risk of being butchered. With the coast secured, our next move is to head out after the fleets in the very deepest part of the Pacific Ocean. Eight zero. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five. Three five. Four five. Three zero. Three five. Four five. We intercepted the Russian fleet just after it had finished killing off a pot of whales. Down, please. Slowly. Our photographers are sent out to document what's happened. As a safety precaution, we have equipped each Zodiac with a radio. At this point, we were unaware of the circumstances that would soon place all of their lives in danger. think towards you so keep an eye open and the moment you see us let us know over Roger. we're right up alongside the kill boat we're gonna blow the horn and tell us if you hear us loud and clear over did you hear the horn no i can't hear it okie doke now listen okay if you can't hear that horn then you better stop for a second and we better stop for a second and we're going to figure this one out. But that means we've lost contact with you and we do not know which radar blip you're on. So call off whatever operation you're doing right now and stand still. Over. Right okay. Here. Hey, do you see this uh, kill boat? It's just leaving now. It should be steaming. We're right up behind it. Uh, stick with the killer boat. Okay, second. Hey, hang on a second. Stick with that killer boat. Because at least we can track the killer boats. Over. If you can see that boat moving, we'll just come over here to the horse truck. Roger that. Roger. Okay. Some, can you signal to the people in the other Zodiac? Over. And send that guy. Yeah. Towards the killer boats. Scout for them. Yeah. Okay, we're going to try the foghorn. One loud blast. Okay, over. <laughs> Did you hear anything at all? Oh, did somebody get it? Shut up, please. Okay, now listen. We have been running. The other Zodiac is with us now. I can see it here. Now, we have been running with the swell of the sea coming from behind us the whole time. Over. Where's that kilo? Keep an eye on it. Okay, okay. Do we have any metal objects on the boat? Which you can put on the oar and stick it up, over. Uh, just a minute, George, we'll look into that, over. Okay, we're standing close. Could you try blowing your foghorn, please? Uh, affirmative. <laughs> Say 
again. Would you please blow your foghorn? We are getting ready to take it off. Captain Karodva insists that we resupply at the nearest port, so we head southwest for Honolulu. Two days ago, Hal here brought us a, a piece of paper which was a statement from Coast Guard information stating that Japanese fleet consisting of uh, Koyo, Koyu, Maru number three and seven killer boats had been sighted in the vicinity of French frigate Shoals, which is about 580 miles northwest of here. It looks like they're handing it to us a on a platter again. The possibilities are insane right now. In fact, I'm actually half expecting the South African whaling fleet to, for some bizarre reason or other, to appear here. But the fact is, you know, just, just because someone said a fleet was by some reef two days ago or even today, a day or a half or two days from now, they may be anywhere. And, and the reality of it is that uh, with our particular RDF equipment, they don't have to get very far out of range for us to, to lose them. Our, our best terms are ones with a high, intense, immediate, instantaneous feedback media profile. Uh, it's not a, a slug it out number in the depths of somewhere where no one knows what the hell is going on and we just disappear one night. At this point, story so far as the external world is concerned is the same story we had two days ago, which is uh, we're hitting Russians because that's where our first duty lies. We've got to finish our trip with them. By 8.30 uh, a.m. Vancouver time this morning, we could finally see the dots on the horizon. There's a uh, Russian factory ship, I do believe, down in Vostok, about five degrees on the port side, I would say about four miles from us, and on our starboard side, we so far come nine kilo boats. We've been listening in on the radio last night and could hear the Russians, and the, the skipper had been calling the boats in for a tight formation, yet this morning when we arrived, the formation scattered and they started moving off in every direction. So we decided first of all to go in for the Vostok, but as we were going in, there was one chaser boat that was fairly close, started moving, and we spotted whales in front of it, and it was closing in on them. So we just uh, stopped the boat really quick and uh, got a Zodiac into the water right away and set out as fast as we could. I think it only took us about 10 minutes to uh, get across there. And uh, when, when we got up to them, 